Okay, in this video, let's take a look at Aaron Wise's golf swing. Playing great at the Honda Classic this week and a great swing to study for consistent ball striking. If it is your first time to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button. And if you like the video, hit that like button as well. So let's take a look here. So pretty tall guy, about 6'1", hitting a shorter iron here into this green. And a couple things jump out at a dress. Sits back a little more in the sort of the heels back here, a little more rounded posture. But then once he gets it up to the top here, gets that weight centered back over his feet and in perfect position. And if you do struggle with consistency in your iron play, if you're able to get this position figured out here of a le flat left wrist and a club face that's much more sort of skyward or, you know, not toe down, that creates a stronger club face position, more closed, much less difficult to control at the bottom of the swing. But what I really like is his down move when he starts down. When he starts down, his head drops slightly, he gets in the legs, and the arms are coming down and the club is coming down because of the body motion as he starts it down. He's not pulling the club down like we used to teach back in the 70s and 80s, 90s. Instead, he's getting that body going in the legs. And now he's got some classically awesome positions right here. Right forearm, right along the plane, hands on the plane, and then an impact coming right through the swing plane as well. And he does have some inconsistencies. He doesn't make every single cut, but I'm guessing because he gets in this, this such a good position in here, if he doesn't stay down, stay down long enough and rotate, that's probably where he gets up and out of it, has some trouble. If he is down long enough and rotating, look out. If we take a look at a, a driver's swing, for, really from a sequence standpoint, we can see, like I said, very natural looking setup. Almost looks a little crossed up. Shoulders look a little open, feet a little closed, but... Uh, very natural looking. He doesn't look angular. He doesn't look stiff or tense in any way. Very, very natural looking. And as the club goes up, we know the plane is okay on the backswing. Again, once again, you know, tour players can wind up their shoulders against their hips and legs because they're so flexible. A lot of us can't do that. But look at this great position at the top. Club face good, left wrist good. And then the sequence, like we said, he's going to drive it in the fairway a lot and really control the ball the longer he can stay down in those legs. So here's a great transition move we talked about in the last part of the video. Left arm stuck across the chest here. Legs really down and rotating. So he's still in his level. He hasn't changed here. All these angles are holding, which will allow him to control the ball because he's on, on the swing plane coming through impact. If he stays down long enough like he does here, He's clearing, but he's down. He pushes hard at the bottom of the swing, of course, for power. But at this point, the club's already in position to nail the ball, and he can hit it solid and straight. If, however, on the weeks where maybe he's struggling, maybe he gets into this area here, starts pushing up too early, these legs start to come up, and then he's also coming up and out, that will send the ball left and right. To be a great wedge player and control the, the distance and direction, of course, we know you've got to stay more grounded, calmer with the feet, which allows you to really stay in your posture. So let's see how he does here on this wedge shot. A little three-quarter action, perfect wrist position again, club face in a good strong position as well. So we know he's down here. Can he maintain the same angle or same level as he comes in? Certainly very close. Just starting to come out. Club definitely on plane at impact, however. And tracking to the left. And beautiful position for the face coming through. We can see there that the face is not twisted over. So that's a great way to be controlled wedge player. And of course, when you're on the tour at the highest level, you figure these things out. We take a little detour here, one more, a little short shot, not just a, like a, a wedge we saw in the last segment, but a short game shot around the green. A lot of people that I work with on their games are not quite sure how to hit these shots around the greens to use the wedge properly. And for the wedge to work well, it needs to get into the grass well behind the ball. So the more rough you have in there, you can use that rough to your advantage, get that club in the grass and sweep it or rake it out of there. So watch where this club enters the grass, hinges it up quickly, but watch how far behind the ball that club gets into the grass. You can see where he's striking that grass. It's way back 
five, six inches behind the ball and then goes under the ball through it. And that club is in sort of in the ground for a long, long way, which allows you to control the golf ball. If you try to hit too close to that ball, you will not control it. You either go right under it or you'll blade it. So use the grass around the greens, use the bounce, use the grass and just let it slide right through there and it will sort of rake the ball out and give you amazing control. One more look at the driver downswing. If you're a player that struggles to either with power or just the consistency of direction, getting that sequence right is huge. So if you do have the club face in a good position up here due to that wrist being set correctly, the face is nice and square. As you start down, leave those arms up there. Leave them up there. Put some pressure in those legs. You can see that left arm just sitting there. The club's moving, but the club's moving because his body's moving. And the arms doesn't does not start to swing. The left arm rather doesn't does not start to swing off of his body until he gets down in those legs and starts then rotating. And down here, like I said, he's down low. Low here, low, staying down. Still down, club face in position, and now he can start to put some power in it and rip it through there. If, however, you're a player that starts to attack from here at the top and either pull the arms down or even halfway down in this area, you start to then throw your arms at the ball, you'll be very inconsistent. Good drivers don't do that. And even if you're a player that isn't a super low handicap, but you're consistent, you probably have a more a better sequence on the downswing than someone who's really flailing at it with their arms. Okay, well, that's going to wrap it up for this video of Aaron Wise. Love this golf swing. Can't wait to see how low he goes this weekend down at the Honda Classic. If it, once again, if it is your first time to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. And if you like the video, hit the like button as well. And we'll see you in the next one.